Some educational ideas can be much better in theory than in practice. No Child Left Behind has come under fire from many parents who are concerned about excessive emphasis on test taking and not enough on learning. And it seems Congress is listening. Max Grossfeld is here with the details. It appears the No Child Left Behind Act may soon be in the rear view mirror. These high school students doing a science experiment at Legacy High School today have spent their entire educational lives under No Child Left Behind. That act may soon be replaced by the Every Child Achieves Act, which would shift education from federal to more local control. It empowers states and local school district in terms of providing education for our young people. I think that it will go a long way to rectifying what was wrong uh, with No Child Left Behind, but it also sets out a blueprint of cooperation between state and local governments and the federal government that um, hopefully can be a model for, uh, for the future. The act doesn't do away with testing, but it allows states to choose which assessment they'd like to use. We're different, and we need to respond to our students differently, and we, we those at the local level and at the state level know what's best for our students in North Dakota. We need to be responsive. We need to have the flexibility that this new bill provides. The House has also passed an education bill called the Student Success Act, which goes further to dismantle federal testing. The two bills now go to a conference committee to sort out the differences. I'm confident we can come to a reconciliation that, 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 meets, um, that meets enough demand to pass both the House and the Senate, but it certainly won't be easy. The Senate bill includes a science, technology, education, and math provision, which means science projects like this one could be better funded going forward. The Every Child Achieves Act also includes provisions that tackle human trafficking in schools and provide early education, childhood education for the disadvantaged.